So we have all six vehicles in their vehicle mode. Now, there are a few things I didn't show off in the video, and I'm going to go over those real quick. So we're going to start with the not uh, Mixmaster and not uh, Scrap. So they have these things where you can carry. Now, they don't lift up. If you lift it up, they come loose. But these are actually the arms. And there's a little notch that it fits on. We're going to bring this a little closer so you can see it. Unfortunately, if I don't hold it, it'll fall. And these are the arms. And they actually will latch on to the leg parts, which is weird. But these are legs. As you know, Scrapper is a leg, and so is Mixmaster. And they do the same thing. They both have these latches on them. And you can see them in vehicle mode right here, how they look and everything. So they got those parts. And it's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty cool, you know, for what it's worth. Um, but you can take them off and we'll show what they do. And basically, the arm is inside of here, which we will talk about right now. Let me just basically open that up. And there's the fist and close it back down. And that's the fist. And of course, she has the articulation. You can see it there. Same thing for the other one. Uh, let's basically open it up. You don't fold that out. And that's that. Um, of course, we did show off the gun in the last video. And again, it's the six guns. They all form one giant gun. It's pretty neat. And you get the wing part. So I know everybody wants to see that. So this is the dump. This is not a uh, long haul. And in here is the wing. And it kind of fits like a, I don't know, kind of like a cool accessory. So you can kind of, <sighs> yeah, that's a pain in the ass. All right. It's... This plastic is really good. And I'll explain that when I do my next video and basically open this up and that's the wing and you turn around and of course we have like a Decepticon symbol you could put it up there and then you also get an extra head so the head that's currently on there I believe doesn't let you change the expression so you can have the shaded look and on the side here there's a lever and you can get the oh it's called the derpy eye look prepare for termination you slide it up and you get the two eyes and you can see it right there and if you can't see it you can open this up and you can see it has the two eyes right there also the mouth does open up which I do believe you can get a open mouth pose so he looks like he's ah I never stay her this is like an old man so of course you can like I said fold this down and you can you know so Think about this, guys. This was done in 2012. And some of these things that we see, that we saw with uh, Devastator, especially the uh, Unite Warriors version has a lot of these features with the changing of the face and everything like that. You know, I might just make this a darker face, you know, cause he does have like a very bright face and I don't really like it. Want to be more grungy like the Kind of like the Unite Warriors version. And we'll compare heads real quick. You want to see the other head. And this is the head that's mostly being used, like I said, right now. And like I said, I'm going to probably color change that. This is the other head, the other, de like I said, is the other Devastator head. And you can see there the differences in the two heads. And like I said, you have two heads. To choose from and both do the same thing this mouth doesn't open um and he doesn't have the sliding visor so it's just like kind of more or less a static head some people might like this head a little better it just depends on which one so i mean the options that they give you is also a neat uh, just neat so that's enough next thing we're gonna do is go straight into gaming's into their perspective vehicle modes uh well parts more or less to become devastated. We'll be back in a few. All right, and we're back by YouTube Magic and we have Green Giant Type 61, AKA not G1 Devastator in his devastation mode. And he looks pretty good. He looks like Devastator. All right, so you're gonna ask me about articulation because I know you guys are articulation junkies. There is not a whole lot. It's it's 
it's 2012. So let's pay attention to what we got going on here. So the legs, well, let me explain. So they kind of, you know, they do like this. You know, you got the backwards bend. Um, does rotate up here, but the tire is going to get in the way. But he can, he can rotate like he can without. But he's going to basically this is going to come apart, and that's something that I noticed. Like the easiest way to probably make this work is to have the back wheel attached behind here, which is not going to be easy. So because you already have it up on an angle, so. You're going to probably get about this much knee bend. And yes, you have to be careful with it. It doesn't, this isn't, you know, it's just got about, about right there. Uh, you could probably see it. It's going to be about that much. It's not going to be, you know, oh my God, this thing is articulated. Yeah, this is 2012. This is even before uh, they actually did Combiner Wars or Unite Warriors. So remember that. Um, the arms. Now they do rotate up. You can probably do a 360. I'm not going to do a 360 because stuff falls apart. Um, the feet do, like I said, they go forward and they pivot. So you can see that there. There's Mix Master, not Mix Master, and there's not Scrapper. And that little piece right there makes it look like he has hydraulics in it. Um, from the back, he's pretty solid. You know, he doesn't look fake as they should say and you can see where parts and everything go well they just go well the only problem i have is that part but that's just because i'm leaving these on so yes they all form a super weapon i'm not doing the super weapon thing because i don't want to I, I don't really care for it i just want my devastator to look like devastator and he never had this giant weapon it's just something that you know third party makes up I, there's plenty of reviews on that. I'm not gonna go that far into it, but you know the head is pretty much on the ball joint. Let's see if we can get a little closer here. So head is on the ball joint. Like I say, you can lift that up to get the normal eye look. You know, the head is a little loose. Like I said, if you really want that, you know, this is a more, like I said, more devastator head in my opinion. So, you know, I know some of y'all are gonna get upset, you know, but it is, it just looks better. And yes, he can do it. I already showed that off. I'm not really gonna open and close the mouth or anything. No, it's not what we're here for. Um, we're gonna do some measurements real quick. Like I said, it's, it's all, the articulation is pretty much the same, like, see what i'm doing it does it, it does it well and he has you know i mean he's even got individual fingers so you know i mean you got a thumb you got you know everything that a devastator should be at the size of what your standard toys are so he's still out of scale but if you want to get you know so you can see this is what i'm talking about you know there's like this guy all right let's get a let's get a good view and then just my own camera soon so you can see he's you know that's a this is a um voyager scale so i mean it, these are deluxe size figures forming a robot like if this was the combiner wars then your limb joints would have been the size of him because he they're pretty much, you know, Voyager size uh, in the Combiner Wars. And I like just the overall presence that he brings as a Devastator because he will match the other figures. So we're going to show those off in two and two. We're just going to show off a few. Be right back. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic and we have some Unite Warrior figures <laughs> that are not standing up really well. Um, for starters, we have none other than Defensor, which is Unite Warriors, and it's official. And then we have over here uh, Unite Warriors Bruticus, which is also 
official, no KO, no help me parts, no third party. This is the straight bare bones out of the box set, what you get. And let's face it, if this blows these two out the water. Sure, it's not super articulated. It's not going to jump off the wall and do a split and all that good stuff. It's not supposed to, okay? But it does what it does better than these. And these came out after this. You know what I'm saying? These came out after this. Like, you know, even Quantron, which I probably will never review until I figure out how to transform that complicated mess. It's, it's uh, the videos I've seen on how to do the damn toy is too long, but I do own him. I think this is better than Quantron because I can do this really without having to go to the instructions because it's devastating. Quantron is a mess because you got to fold this, fold that. It's just, it's just utter mess. And this is, it just, just does it good. He has multi, he has lots of playability. I mean, he does so many things. I mean, he's the same height as your combiner wars, which are about 11 to 12 inches tall. And he is 11 inches. So he's going to fit with your combiner wars. He fits well, you know, but when you look at him and look at these two, he just looks, he looks like he came out after them, but this came out well before. And like I said, Make Toys does borrow a lot of engineering from Hasbro. If y'all ever uh, got any of their, um, uh, one of those, the tankers, they're basically just the Laser Optimus Prime from uh, from uh, Generations and Unite War and, and United with a little bit more engineering. The arms are engineered from the RID or uh, Car Robots uh, Grimlock with the green crane. And their transformations are very similar to feet, the legs, the way that they transform are similar. But with the rest of the figures, they did design them, you know, the long haul, you know, the hook, I mean, which is probably the worst because he doesn't have any feet swivel. All the other characters, you know, have feet swivel. I love the Scrapper, even though he doesn't look like Scrapper to me. His head sculpt sets him off. He still has that sinister look. Mixmaster, again, looks just as good. So... I'm really just going to go into final thoughts. It's like, this thing has been on forever. You know, like, it's, it's been on, like, <laughs> if you haven't seen the review for Green Giant by now, you're new to the fandom, and I understand that, so I'm not going to knock you or anything like that. I'm not going to knock you, because you may have not heard of this, or you may have heard of this, or you may have not, and got confused with other KOs, and there's a lot of KOs out there, and KOs of third-party stuff. Um... And I'm speaking about the oversized Hulky because I do own oversized Hulky. Um, but with this guy, I mean, you get everything. You know, you get everything. It's just a complete package. And you should be able to find him. We're in the final thoughts, by the way. You should be able to find him for about 200 bucks. I mean, just overall for something that is, this is 10 years old now. Remember, this is older than your combiner wars stuff and this thing it, it did a good job you know and the crane like i said you can look up videos about the crane weapon i just there's a lot of stuff you got to do to get to that i just don't want to do it because really i keep this in this mode and i'm it's just time consuming but i would say you should by all means buy this figure without you know any hesitation you should buy this figure um you know why do i say that well let's say you're a collector um you have a lot of combiner wars like i do i have a lot of unite warriors more than i have combiner wars um you know we don't have a devastator like we just don't have a devastator that matches the scale that we're looking for you understand what i'm saying like the scale is not there so by having this you have the correct scale. It'll go well with your figures. You have six individual robots. You don't have to worry about losing parts because all of the weapons, all of the weapons that they have form a gun. They're not, this is, like I said, again, if you go into this, this is not going to be the G1 replacement. Hasbro is going to have to go back down the drawing board and make another Devastator that's more in scale. And if they do, that would be great. Um, but if you're looking for a Devastator that matches, you only have two options. Hercules, which is slightly bigger, but is more G1. 
or this guy. And this guy is great. So I would recommend him as a pickup for a exact uh, ch chug or combiner wars or fitting in with your war for Cybertron Devastator. This will fit with what you have. Now, if Hasbro comes out with something in the future, hey, we'll buy it. I hope it's not giant again or oversized. Um, you know, I have looked at undersized uh, KOs for the Combiner Wars, but they don't have one that uses the Unite Warriors, which I would prefer that. You know, they do one that has Unite Warriors, you know, type, uh, you know, stuff. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely pick that one up. Um, but other than that, for 200 bucks, and that should be the standard. Like, I know you'll see some on eBay for three. Uh, you might get lucky and find them for less than 200. Some people have gotten them for 100 bucks, and this thing is solid. Everything about this is solid. Like, I painted on this, and none of the plastic degraded or anything. And it's like I said, it's just 10 years old. I got this used. It came with all the parts, all the box, everything that you need to create all the stuff for 200 bucks. And that's about the cost of a box set for combiners. Oh, well, when Unite Warriors, you know, they didn't do it in America. So, you know, here's what it is. So yeah, this is a recommend. I like it. I think it's a great Devastator. You could prove me wrong on which one is gonna be better. But as far as mainline scale, can I repeat, mainline scale, this is the one to get. This is Robot It, signing off. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.